Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Learn Academic English. I teach intermediate and advanced level lessons for English learners who want to take their language to the next level. I'm Jenna and I've been teaching grammar for more than 20 years. And I know that articles are one of the trickiest grammar points for English learners. This is especially true if your first language doesn't use articles. One of the things that you need to know is how to use articles for place names. For example, do we say the Lake Como or the River Thames? So only one of those is correct and we'll find out which one and why during our lesson today. Please make sure that you stay until the end of the video because I'm going to have a practice that we will do together. And don't forget to check the description box below because I have two things there for you. One is a question that you can use to practice with me in the comments below. And second, I have a link to a PDF handout with these rules that you can use to study at home. And don't forget to give this video a like if you find it helpful, leave a comment, and subscribe if you want more lessons like this one. Those things really help me to grow my channel, so I really appreciate it. Okay, so let's get started with the rules for articles for place names. And the first one is that we use the with the name of a river or canal. For example, the Suez Canal and the Danube River. Usually, the word canal or river is going to go at the end and the name is going to go first. However, you can see that with Thames, the name is often switched with Thames after. The River Thames. Okay, the next one is the with ocean, gulf, or sea. For example, the Caspian Sea and the Atlantic Ocean. Now, often we will drop the word ocean and we'll say just the Pacific or the Atlantic. That's a short way to say the Pacific Ocean or the Atlantic Ocean. He's over the Atlantic. Okay, the next one is for regions. And sometimes in English, when we're talking about a region in a country, it's not really the name. It might be, for example, I live in the northeast of the U.S. But sometimes the region actually has a name, and in that case, we would use capital letters. For example, the South, the East Coast, the EU. So this is the European Union, and that's quite a large region. It ends in the word union. But for all of these, we need to use the first. Okay, the next one is the with the name of a desert. For example, the Gobi Desert. Now this one is another example where we sometimes will drop the word desert just like we often do with the word ocean. So for example, here in California, we have a desert called the Mojave Desert. And sometimes you can hear people say just the Mojave and that refers to the Mojave Desert. Okay, the next one is the with the word peninsula. Do you know what the word peninsula means? A peninsula is a piece of land that comes out into the water but it's connected to the land on one side. So it's surrounded by water on three sides, but connected to land on one side. And we say, for example, the Iberian Peninsula. Okay, next we use the with mountains and islands if it's a group of mountains or islands. For example, the Rocky Mountains, the Alps, now, often with the names of mountain ranges, we drop the word mountains. So we say the Andes, the Alps, but for other ones like the Rocky Mountains, we use the word mountains, or sometimes we just say the Rockies. Anyway, the important thing is that you need to have the first. We do the same thing with groups of islands like the Hawaiian Islands. Notice that we're using the and that it's plural at the end. Okay, next we use the with the name of a country when the country name is plural. So you're thinking about names of countries in English that have an S at the end. Of course, the United Arab Emirates is an example, the United States, the Philippines. And finally, the with the names of countries that have the word kingdom or republic in them. 
For example, the Czech Republic, the United Kingdom. Okay, so now that we have our rules for when to use the with place names, we're going to look at examples of when we should not use the with place names, and then we will practice together. So now that we know when to use the before place names, let's look at some examples of when we don't use the before place names. So no the with the names of countries or continents, as in Brazil or South America. Now, as we saw before, there are exceptions to this if the country name is plural or if the country name includes the word kingdom or republic. For cities, no the, San Diego, Rome, states and provinces, for example, California or British Columbia. The names of beaches do not have the word the. Lakes. No the, for example, Lake Como. Um, has your sister ever heard of Lake Como? So now you know the answer to this one. The Lake Como is incorrect, but the River Thames is correct. So no the with lakes. For single mountains or islands, we use no the, for example, Mount Baker or Bali the name of an island in Indonesia. For the names of streets and highways, no the, Main Street, Highway 50. Now there are some exceptions to this. Sometimes we have some highways that are named after a person and those can sometimes have the word the, but usually no the for streets or highways. And finally, with the names of parks, Yosemite National Park or Sonoma State Park, no the. Okay, so now that we know these rules, and remember that you can also get them in the handout that I linked below, let's practice. As you know, the best way to learn grammar is to practice it. So let's practice in two ways. First, we'll look at this together and we will see if we need to fill in the blanks with the or no article. And then please practice with me in the comments below by answering the question that I leave in the description box and then fill in your answer in the comments and I'll be sure to come back and give you feedback. Okay, so let's look at this short paragraph about the place where I live. I was born and raised in United States. I live on West Coast between Sierra Nevada mountains and Pacific Ocean. The city where I live is about an hour from San Francisco and Dillon Beach. Okay, so you probably know this, but this is the name of a city. On weekends, we sometimes go to Lake Tahoe or American River. Okay, so let's fill in the blanks with the or no article. For the first one, I was born and raised in the United States. And why do we add the article the? Because the name of this country is plural. I live on the West Coast. Why? Because West Coast is the name of a region of my country. Between the Sierra Nevada mountains. Why? Because it's the name of a group of mountains. It's a mountain range. This is not just one mountain. It's the name of a group of mountains and it's plural. And the Pacific Ocean. Why? Because it's the name of an ocean. The city where I live is about an hour from San Francisco. No article here, no articles with city names. And do you remember for the names of beaches? So I live in California. Beaches are really important here and where there's no the with the name of a beach. Okay, on weekends, we sometimes go to, no article, Lake Tahoe. Why? Because it's the name of a lake. Or American River. For this one, we need the article, the. 
Okay, so be sure to let me know if you have questions and I would appreciate it if you could give this video a like and don't forget to leave a comment. You can see my question below and you can use that to practice in the comments below. Also, don't forget to get that PDF handout that I left a link to. Take care and I hope to see you back here soon.